Hey there, how's it going? So I'm gonna wedge some clay. Mm, this is kind of my favorite part because the clay has come out of the earth. It is part of the energy of the planet, the Gaia. And I love that expression, uh, creation like in the hand, clay in the potter's hands. You hear that a lot when people talk about uh, now the law of attraction and being able to create what you want. You know, you visualize it in your head and it happens in all ways in life. But with clay, it can be really fun because you get to see it and it's very quick. Okay, I'm wedging. And then we uh, work the clay into a ball. I think horizontal form <laughs> would have worked better. Okay, next time. There we go, are we rolling? Did I run out of batteries? I like to take a deep breath. Yes. Ooh. You can feel it all the way up and down your fingers. And I, uh, seriously, it's been 40 years. I just got back a couple months ago after a 40 year break. Um, and it feels so good, but I'm a little self-conscious being filmed. You know, sometimes they tell you to go up and down like as many times as you want, and sometimes you can just feel that the clay is is, is ready. It's it's pretty smooth. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling this more the six inch flower pot. I had said Fiona. But with this amount of clay, I've got my, uh, yeah, and it's going to be six inches up and more narrow, and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So what I'm attempting to make here is a Mexican wedding vase, also known as an Indian wedding vase. It is a tradition used in weddings it has one central uh, chamber or vessel with two openings and in a wedding uh, sometimes it's used to like the groom will drink out of one side and they'll pass it and the bride will drink out of the other or they'll both drink out of the same side and it's used to show a, a joining of two spirits into one they're now drinking out of a central vessel so my good friend James um, saw one that I had made for someone else, and his brother Brian and is marrying uh, his bride Christine, and he commissioned me to make them a Mexican wedding vase. And what he did is he got them to cut some hair, his and her hair, and he sent that to me. I definitely feel like I could go down and the bottom he, just a little bit more. It uh, came in the mail, and I have it. Wait, so this is the the process of making it. So what's coming up next is how I go from uh, a bowl, basically, to a shape with two openings. So I'm pulling up the clay to get enough room and make kind of a large bowl which I will then, the delicate part is bringing two sides together to create the two openings, like the Indian wedding, wedding vase that I'm going for. So I'm not quite there yet. I've got to bring it up and up and up. Here we go, one last time. And then I'll push out the walls to make the bowl shape and get it ready to turn into the Indian wedding vase.
We'll see where it's gotten. That's the vessel that I squished together and I decided to cut out a swoop here and a swoop there and I've been uh, smoothing. <laughs> and uh, I've got the little heart cut out there which uh, I'll take that out as the last piece. So I'm going to be smoothing this side and this is the wedding vase that my buddy James ordered for his uh, brother Brian and his uh, right to be and I have hair samples well it's all going to come together I'll sure don't want to repeat myself so there's there's the beginning